Thanks, Tom. Coming soon, Midland is getting a zoo. The zoo is meant to be an educational and interactive experience, an idea years in the works started by Midlanders. Everybody can look out there and, and see that there's not a whole lot to do in Midland. And so we wanted to address, uh, look into a way to address, and the zoo was one of the things that was brought up as kind of an initial idea. Midland will soon have a zoo. What we're going for in our species is a highly interactive species, meaning something that you can you can interact with in some way. The zoo will be 51 acres, a little smaller than Fort Worth, but bigger than Abilene's on the Nueva Vista Golf Club property. You plan for specific uh, general species, if that makes sense. So you plan for hoofstock, you plan for canine, you plan for birds, you plan for uh, reptile, you plan for bug. Climate is the biggest concern, so the animals will be similar to those in zoos nearby. There are no plans for polar bears or elephants. You have plans for a giraffe, and so you can feed a giraffe romaine lettuce, and they have the big purple tongue. It's a lot of fun for kids and adults alike to see that giraffe in the way they eat and to learn about how it browses. Opening date is expected mid-2027. They already have a zookeeper with 30-plus years of experience. You can't have animals out there while you're completing construction. So we have uh, plenty of off-site locations that we can um, allow those animals to acclimate um, and, and you know get them on their regular schedule and those type of things so that their final move to the zoo is not stressful. Plans include over 600 trees, so there's plenty of shade with 26 artificial trees. Added to the other projects that are already going on, and it just makes Midland uh, a place where people would, well, let's stay, let's stay the night and let's go do that in the morning and let's go do this after the tournament. Or, you know, they play at 8 a.m. and they don't play again till 5. Let's go to the zoo in between. Funding for the nonprofit is coming from community donations.